Welcome to Tzuji This Week. I'm Mary Lee. It's good to have you with us. Coming up in this week's top stories, Hong Kong Tzuji volunteers perform the Water Repentance Sutra at a blessing ceremony to celebrate their 20th anniversary. Celebrating Diwali, Tzuji volunteers in Malaysia are joining in the festivities and making sure their Indian care recipients are well taken care of. And we visit Taipei and Kaohsiung City volunteers as they are crafting wisdom and blessing red envelopes for the upcoming City Year and Blessing ceremonies. We start the show in Hong Kong to prepare for the musical adaptation of the Water Repentance Sutra taking place this weekend. Hong Kong City volunteers have seized every opportunity to perfect their performance. Given the loud nature of their rehearsals, members of the drum team have been practicing in the basement of an office building. Volunteer Chen Zanqiang obtained permission from his company to use this space and pay for the rental out of his own pocket. The rehearsal for the drum team is taking place inside this office building situated in Hong Kong's bustling Happy Valley. The basement of this building, which is also a staff gym, has become a temporary practice venue for the drummers. If someone is working out, we place mat over our drums so that when we are drumming, you won't be able to hear the sound of the drum. We really put our hearts into each practice and we have all forged a close bond. The drum performers rehearse again and again, putting 100% effort into each practice. When it comes to business, Chen Zanqiang is scrupulous in separating work and personal affairs, and it is because of his professionalism, at times, an unintended arrogance shows. Most of the time, my position requires me to make a lot of decisions. So sometimes I can become overbearing. It hurts those around me, and I don't even realize it. When I joined this true job performance, I realized that apart from knowing how to do my job well, I needed to look after other people's hearts as well. Since joining Tzuji, Chen's peers started to notice changes. Before, he'd had high expectations for his job and he was all about work, but now he's very sincere and you can feel his love and care. When the opportunity arose for Chen to take part in the sutra performance, his heart was filled with gratitude. I hope that we may all remain diligent on the city path and grow together. To spread city's dharma throughout Hong Kong is the aspiration of all the on-stage volunteers. And where there is a will, there will always be a way. Continuing our last story on Hong Kong, over the past two decades, Tzuji volunteers in Hong Kong have managed to spread the Buddhist NGO's love to every corner of society. Whether it is caring for disaster survivors or immigrants, volunteers have eased the suffering of countless needy residents. advertisement promoting police officers in Hong Kong, these well-trained crime fighters are responsible for public safety and keeping order in society. However, with global climate change and continued population growth, natural or man-made disasters are inevitable. On November 30, 2012, a fire occurred in Wangko, a famous tourist shopping destination in Gaolong West, causing nine deaths and 30 injuries. Upon learning of the place, city volunteer Zhou Yulian immediately contacted the deputy director of the Home Affairs Bureau. Every time an accident or a disaster occurs in Hong Kong, the city Hong Kong chapter always takes the initiative to contact us or other departments to see if they can provide any assistance. We hope to gather the power of many. Regardless of what happens here in Hong Kong, we want to turn Tzuji into something that everyone feels having Tzuji around brings purity and harmony to our society. Whatever happens, everyone should feel that they can find comfort in Tzuji's presence.
Hong Kong stands as one of Asia's most modern and developed cities. Nonetheless, its Eastern cultural traditions means that topics such as death are avoided. And when the unexpected happens, many residents find it difficult to overcome their grief and move on. How do we bring peace of mind and a sense of purity to our communities and provide those affected by disasters with long-term care? I think this is something city volunteers have been doing in Hong Kong. What's more important is that your volunteers have provided bereaved families and individuals with long-term emotional support and care over time. This is crucial in helping these families move forward. Sometimes accidents happen due to impulsive behavior. Seeds of goodness planted need to be nourished with love. Thus, city volunteers bring their care to every community, ensuring every person they come across finds spiritual fulfillment. Residents here in Hong Kong do not lack material goods, but spiritual growth. We have noticed those around us and their families all seem to do all right in life, but many are troubled emotionally and are in search of a spiritual outlet. Tsuji is really the best answer for everyone. Buildings and homes destroyed in disasters can be rebuilt. However, it is more difficult for traumatized souls to recover. Whenever a disaster occurs, city volunteers lose the minds of those affected with sincerity and warmth, hoping to spread city's great love whenever and wherever possible. Diwali is one of the most important holiday of the year for Hindus, and city volunteers in Malaysia are helping their Indian care recipients celebrate the holiday with a bit of extra flair. An Indian girl dances on stage to express the collective thanks of care recipients for city's continuous help. After dancing, I feel very happy. Another care recipient family member, Sukeswari, and her younger siblings practice for six months to prepare for their performance today. Uh, they are not happy, so I decide this year we want to do something, uh, want to make their happy. So we decide we want to do dance, happy song. So we took happy song and we practice for six months. We practice the song. The sisters practice in their living room, less than two meter wide. Despite the difficulty of practicing in such a small area, their efforts were not in vain. We can see a smile on their faces, so we also uh, feel happy so much. Diwali is one of the most important holidays of the year for the Indian population here in Malaysia. To celebrate, care recipients created a colorful mosaic on the floor of the local Jin Si Ho, and the day's festivities were hosted by four local Indian volunteers. If Tsuji asks me to come, I will come. I'm proud to be a volunteer for Tsuji. One by one, care recipients arrived for the event, many with bamboo banks in tow. Tsuji helped me, so I want to help. And Tsuji volunteers were behind the scenes, getting everything ready for the event. There are a lot of guests, so we are here to help. We're enjoying our time doing so. We want to celebrate this holiday with them and let them know that we Tsuji volunteers stand firmly at their side. The desk closes with a tea ceremony and of course a bag of aid supplies for each care recipient, ensuring that they find the continual joy in the holiday seasons ahead. In Malaysia, to thank Tsuji volunteers for their past assistance, at a recent aid distribution, the vice principal and teacher from Sir Dane Tamil Elementary School carried out the relief work to assist some 50 families in need. At this aid distribution organized by Malaysia Tsuji volunteers, a group of teachers from the Sudan Tamil Elementary School are taking time off from their weekend to give back. <laughs> This time is different to before. The teachers are front and center and will be handling all the important jobs such as the registration and the handing out of aid supplies. A week before, volunteers arrived at the school to outline the details of the distribution as well as the spirit behind it. Uh, 
is doing so much for our children and our school. So the, we can do only a little small thing by being volunteers. Lah. Uh, we feel that we are part of the Suchi family, so we come and help uh, as many teachers as possible to come and uh, be, offer a little bit of help. Lah. Each of the teachers put on volunteer vest before handing over eight packs to recipients with a respectful 90-degree bow. Altogether, 53 families received help. I felt very happy for today's occasion because this was my first uh, Suchi volunteering work. And then I felt honoured and then privileged for helping the needy. Further promoting the great love at the school are scholarship students who take the chance to personally show their thanks. In all, it is a day in which everyone comes to learn that there is real joy in giving. In Kaohsiung, Taiwan, senior Jen lives in a cluttered and messy home with no immediate family to look after him. When team of volunteers visited, they found that the senior did not sort his medication properly. Thus, a doctor gave his health a look over and a pharmacist organized his medicine for him. In the end, Suji volunteers also gave his house a clean-up. Seeing the unsorted pile of medicine of Grandpa Jian who lives alone, Tima doctor Ye Ting Ha gives the senior a quick health check to make sure he was not taking the wrong medication or repeats of the same pills. We asked a pharmacist to look through his medication and to throw away the expired pills. At the other end of the house, a group of Tsuji volunteers are hard at work cleaning Senior Jen's living quarters. This gesture of love deeply touched first-time volunteer Guo Mei Mo. I am very moved because Tsuji brothers and sisters are very caring. I saw how dirty the house was in the beginning, but they cleaned it up very nicely. My uncle's son passed away a decade ago in a car accident and has been living on his own since then. I'm really grateful to Tsuji brothers and sisters for caring for him. Tsuji volunteers were able to clear out a whole truck full of garbage and vowed to return to look after senior Jen, making sure his days ahead is not a lonely one. As the Tsuji Year and Blessing Ceremonies are just a few months away, Tsuji volunteers and community residents across the island have gathered together to make the Wisdom and Blessing red envelopes that are handed out during that occasion. Next, we travel from Taipei to Kaohsiung to see everyone's progress. Today, Tsuji volunteers and community residents in Wanghua District, Taipei City, gather at the first floor of their local Jing Si Ho, making blessing and wisdom red envelopes. We can let passers-by know that everyone here is working on these blessing and wisdom red envelopes. I believe we can recruit more people to join the Bodhisattva path that way. First-timer Yang Li Jing, who is here with her two siblings, says that the process of making the envelopes has made her realize the true meaning behind them. This is my first time making the blessing and wisdom red envelopes. I realized that all of them are filled with love and blessings from Tsuji brothers and sisters. Some people join the event hoping to pass on the merits of their loved ones. I wish him a fast recovery. I hope I can return to the Tsuji path as soon as possible. This year, the Xing Tai Liaison Office in New Taipei City is in charge of making 20,000 blessing and wisdom red envelopes. On the first day, the event was joined by more than 100 volunteers. Meanwhile, at the Songshan Liaison Office, Tsuji volunteer Ling Li Zhen, who is in charge of the preparations, says that she has learned to be more humble. Mama. You are doing great, but if you can improve here a little, the person that receives it will be extremely happy. You are creating good affinity with that person. As for any leftover paper, Tsuji volunteers have thoughtfully made them into peace charms. Okay. 
Also making the blessing and wisdom red envelopes are Kaohsiung city volunteers and community residents. To make sure no fingerprints are left on the coins, everyone wears gloves. We need to respect the enlightened one. We need to wear gloves when sticking the coins onto the red envelopes so we won't leave our fingerprints on them. Through their work, many volunteers says that they have learned to be more attentive and patient. We also started off not knowing how to make the envelopes, so we will be extra attentive when teaching community residents. It is important that they enjoy the process. Thanks to the efforts of city volunteers and community residents, the blessing and wisdom red envelopes are not only filled with respect but also blessings. Along with receiving red envelopes of wisdom and blessing, another activity volunteers look forward to is the pinning of new certified city volunteers. Since 1999, the Flower Brutonier newly certified volunteers wear have been crafted together by Taipei's Wenshan District volunteers. This year, the design is a bud of a lotus and the concept is a bud waiting to bloom. At this year's Year End Blessing Ceremony, Tsuji volunteers receiving their official certification will wear a budding lotus flower with a single leaf as a boutonniere. The brothers and sisters getting certified this year are birds who will bloom after Master's blessings. At this crafting session, 34 community volunteers came forth to help. Not only does the leaf have to wrinkle just right, but the flower position has to be uniform as well. As precision starts from cutting the material, Tsuji's media volunteers even put together a poster and video clip to clearly explain each step. I participate every year to form a good bond with each bodhisattva. Every year our hearts are filled with joy to come help. If we don't help, then we get upset. 76-year-old Hong Chen Meihui always discusses the design with Jin Bo Dharma Masters before production begins each year. Her proudest accomplishment is the first year she began making the flowers. It was realistic enough to fool a honeybee. We made it look so real that bees came to collect nectar. It's very time-consuming to dye each petal individually. Committed to their initial inspiration to this day, this year 8,500 flowers have to be crafted. The flower, which stands as a symbol, will welcome newly certified city volunteers into this big family. In Taipei and Taoyuan, city volunteers are bringing Jinx Afros and volumes to distribute to local hotels in hopes of inspiring local and global travelers with Master Zhen Yin's words of wisdom. A simple phrase can invoke profound wisdom, steering readers towards a clear path of life. Each one of the Jingzi aphorisms can be influential in an individual's life. If you can place a Jingzi publication in each guest room of your hotel, your guests may be inspired to find a better way of life. Since 2005, Tiji volunteers have been bringing Jingzi publications into hotels around the globe in the hope of inspiring travelers and hotel service providers to think good thoughts. The words of wisdom in the Jin's volumes provide us with spiritual nourishment. They have been translated into other languages like Japanese and the English, so our foreign guests can also grasp the meaning and wisdom found within. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Tsuji volunteers for bringing us such a wonderful gift. I believe these Jin's volumes will not only exert a positive influence on our guests, but our hotel staff as well. Jinxi aphorisms not only give travelers a chance to take a pause from their busy day to day, but also fill them with spiritual sustenance. This volume of Jin's aphorisms is a good publication. I'm very happy to receive these Tsuji gifts. Through them, we hope to continue our affinity with our guests. As well, in Taoyuan, a hotel invites Tiji volunteers to promote Jinxi aphorisms prior to its opening next month. Thank you, Tiji volunteers, for giving us these Jinxi publications. I think the most important goal of this campaign is to help our guests restore the purity in their hearts and change their lives for the better.
Thanks to the help of hotels worldwide, the words of wisdom found in each Jingsi aphorism will spread far and wide and create a cycle of kindness on a global scale. Over the years, the consumption of raw food has become a popular dietary trend, as supporters believe that raw food has a higher nutritional value than ones that have been cooked. In today's report, we teach you how to balance the consumption of raw and cooked food. After you pick a handful of organically grown vegetables, how should you wash them before eating? You can use a toothbrush to brush off the dirt on the leaves. Because these were freshly picked, there is still some dirt on them. Then you can soak them into clean water and they should be ready. There are many ways to wash the pesticide residues on vegetables sold in the market such as using clean water or rice washing water. Our expert has another tip for you. You can use lemon and salt to wash the vegetables. A raw and living food diet also includes some cooked foods like boiled sweet potato leaves. Don't overboil the sweet potato leaves, or their vitamin C and other nutrients will be destroyed. In fact, some vegetables are better cooked than eaten raw, among them beans, grains, carrots and the tomatoes. Carrots and tomatoes are rich in lycopene, which is a fat-soluble phytochemical. It is better to add some oil and cook them, so that human body can better absorb this nutrient. Dietitians said that a raw and living foods diet is indeed to be beneficial to the human body. However, it is better to also occasionally include cooked food. A raw foods diet offers a food's original flavor and its full scope of nutrients. However, taste may suffer as a result. So which one does the public prefer? Raw food and cooked food each has its own pros and cons. Eating fresh vegetables can prevent cancer or chronic diseases because of the rich vital chemicals in vegetables. However, raw food may contain bacteria or pesticide residues. As more people change to a raw food diet for health reasons, it is recommended that one evaluate one's health condition before doing so. As raw foods diet is not suitable for patients who have digestive problems or are undergoing chemotherapy, you don't necessarily need to eat everything raw. Eating vegetarian can be a healthy option too. Following the three lows and two highs principle and sticking to a natural foods diet, everyone can live a healthy lifestyle. A cup of rejuvenate lake provides the energy necessary for a day, whether it is raw food or cooked food. As long as you take a balanced approach to either dietary style, a healthy life is within reach. At the end of the show, we turn our camera back to Hong Kong, where Tsuji volunteers are celebrating 20 years of establishment with blessing ceremonies, which features the Water Repentance Sutra musical. 400 onstage volunteers get together to hold a dress rehearsal to make sure the performance goes off without a hitch. We will leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. See you next week.